Good day, everyone. Welcome to our first lesson for Assessment in Learning 1. After this session, you will be able to create a definition of assessment and identify the different purposes of assessment. Our talking points for this session are first, the meaning of classroom assessment according to the Department of Education, and second, the purposes of assessment. Let's start with the definition of classroom assessment given by the Department of Education. The DepEd Order Number 8, Series of 2015, states that Assessment is a process that is used to keep track of learners' progress in relation to learning standards and in the development of the 21st century skills, to promote self-reflection and personal accountability among students about their own learning, and to provide basis for the profiling of student performance on the learning competencies and standards of the curriculum. There are three purposes of assessment. First, assessment for learning. Second, assessment as learning. And third, assessment of learning. Let's start with assessment for learning. In assessment for learning, assessment is done to improve and ensure learning. This is referred to as formative assessment. Assessment that is given while the teacher is in the process of student formation or learning. It ensures that learning is going on while teacher is in the process of teaching. Examples, question and answer, exit slips, and quizzes. Assessment as learning, it is called a self-assessment. Students set their targets, monitor, and evaluate their own learning in relation to their set target. It is self-directed and it develops independent learners. Examples, reflections and insights. And the third is assessment of learning, given at the end of a unit, grading period, or a term like a semester. It assess learning for grading purposes. Examples, periodical test, prelim, midterm, semifinal, and finals. Again, the three purposes of assessments are, first, assessment for learning, Second, assessment as learning. Third, assessment of learning. When we go back to the definition given by the Department of Education, we can trace that all three purposes of assessment are present. This time, let's try to match it. Assessment is a process that is used to keep track of learners' progress in relation to learning standards and in the development of the 21st century skills. That is, assessment for learning. To promote self-reflection and personal accountability among students about their own learning. That is, assessment as learning and to provide basis for the profiling of student performance on the learning competencies and standards of the curriculum, that is, assessment of learning. That's it for our first lesson. I'll leave you a question that you will answer in our forum. The question is, are the results of assessment of learning affected by the observance or implementation of assessment for learning? Explain your answer in our forum. If you have questions or clarifications, you can post it in our forum. Thank you for listening and see you in our Moodle. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Bye. Take me